UGD coming at you with a stack on portable security lockbox. Yeah. Model number PC 95C. And I was trying to solve a problem. Once or twice a year, something comes up where I can't walk in a building with my firearm. And uh, I drive a, a Mercury Grand Marquis, not a finer automobile on the road. I can, of course, lock it in the trunk. But for some reason, it worries me. Yeah, it worries me. And so I thought maybe I'll throw something in there that I can bolt to the body uh, that I can lock my firearm in in the once or twice a year that, God forbid, I go somewhere that they don't want me to have a firearm. So this is what I came up with. You're going to find these on the Amazon, Academy Sports, Cabela's, uh, eBay, etc. Right around that $25 mark. Now, they do come in a beautiful blister pack. I'll give you a quick look at that. and It does run down uh, that this is TSA guidelines are met, which is outstanding. All steel body with a three tumbler combination. And there's a slot that secures the cable when the lid is closed. And the cable, yeah, it's included. Now, if you look at the picture here, you don't see it's intended for firearms. Looks like cell phones, keys, cash, and your camera. But that's not what we're going to be using it for. And they do include a pretty good instructions. And uh, if, you can, uh, if you can take a look at this, there is like 20 different damn languages in here. There's even French, which I don't even think they own firearms, but maybe up in Canada. I don't know. So the, the instructions are pretty straightforward. We'll go through them. And the cable is kind of a unique thing feature, too. And the, the, that's the cable that it comes with. And, uh, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll kind of touch base on that. So, again, try to accomplish. Bolt this into my car the once a year, twice a year that I got to put my firearm away because, God forbid, they don't want me in there that building with a firearm. Three tumblers. You know, the... They are what they are. I mean, they're kind of chintzy, but you know they do lock when you when you move it, and then it has a rotating uh, lock to it. So once you set your tumbler, you got to rotate it to unlock it. When you open it up, yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, that's that is nice foam there. And you're talking about uh, three eighths inch thick foam. The dimensions inside the box, and that's what's important if you're considering this for a firearm. We're gonna run from uh, nine inches right here. Eight and a half to the locking mechanism, eight and a half to the locking mechanism, and then six inches down this way, six inches across, and then you got about a two inch on either side of the locking mechanism. If you do have a larger gun, the uh, you know slide should be able to accommodate there. The gun I carry is an FN FNP, uh, and I'm sure that that's probably eighty percent of the gun world does not even know what that is. So what we've got here for two examples is I've got a lone wolf compact which is a, a, a clone an improvement on the glock 19 so the same dimensions as the glock 19 essentially and then the big honkin hk usp 45 a duty weapon if you haven't seen the video on either one of these they are posted uh, this one i've got a little bit of a man crush on i don't know if i'm going to be able to shoot this gun because it is a 45 auto and i'm really not man enough to handle it so let's start with the lone wolf 19 as you can see yeah, plenty of room there. Plenty of room. And when you close this baby up, you got to give it a little bit of a push and lock it. And if you listen, yeah, nothing. Yeah, that baby works. It's secure in there, and it's not going to get scratched up in any ridiculous manner. Now, when you go to the next size up, now this is where it got a little bit crazy. A little bit crazy. I thought, uh oh, that's not going to fit. That, uh, that big honking bad boy is not going to get in there, but it does get in there. Just a barely, barely. Look at that. Just fills that up nicely. And again, when you push down, you got to give it a little bit of effort, but it will lock. And yeah, that baby is secure in there. Now, the other feature this comes with is this cable, uh, which is kind of interesting. I don't know if I will incorporate the cable system to it. If the fella has figured out how to unbolt this thing from my trunk after figuring out how to break into my car, yeah, he probably has earned it at that point. So what you do is uh, you got two ends. You want to take the little end, wrap this around whatever thing you want to secure it to. At this point, we're going to use my hand. Lay the little end right here, slap that baby down, lock it, and now it is, you know, secure, I guess. So, you know, another way to secure a device. Now, I could see where this might work in uh, a piece of luggage, I guess, or I, I don't know, whatever the application is. Again, something I probably will not be using. So that's kind of the overview of what we got here. I think it will serve the purpose that I want it to serve. I would say to anybody that's thinking, hey, this may be a way to secure my firearm at night. 
from my children. Yeah, I'm telling you, guys, there's a lot better options out there because I think fiddling around with a uh, you know three tumbler lock in the middle of the night while somebody's banging on your door is probably not the way to go. So this is UGD bringing you the stack on portable security. Uh, we got a product code of that as the PC95C. Uh, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you think I ought to lock myself away and never do this again, hit the thumbs down and please subscribe.